Hello friends, I have been getting a lot of requests uh, for a video on how to load the delivery data into Ami Broker and plot it. So this video is purely for uh, Ami Broker users and deals with uh, the procedure to download the data from the NSC site and to load it into Ami Broker. To download the data, let's go to the NSE site. Uh, this is the new NSE site. So you can go to market data, daily market reports. And here you have the equities and SME. So these are the daily reports. Uh, but we are interested in the full bulk copy and security deliverable data. This is the file which we are interested. So you can download this file. But if you are using the old NSC site, so you can go to products, equities, go to historical data, security wise and price and volume archives. Go to search here. From here, you can get the security wise price, volume, and deliverable position data for an individual script. You can enter the symbol name, which is the series, all that you can select. But if you're for the current day, all you have to do is just click on full download and you will download the data for the full. Uh, uh, equities or all the stocks in uh, that is the bar file itself for that particular day in this by clicking this uh, full download so now we have the bar copy file with us let's see what we can uh, do with it further open the bar copy file in excel here as you can see, you have the symbol, which is the series, the date, close, open, high, low, and the last price. The previous close, the average price, all this. So most of this data we do not require. What basically we would require is the symbol, the open, close, high, low, and the volume the date and of course the delivery quantity which is here the delivery quantities the delivery percentage is also given here but we can always calculate in the this thing uh, the ME broker we don't have to really download this data so one has to really uh, delete what is not uh, required like the previous close average total traded quantity and is the volume of course this we can delete this the turnover we don't need number of trades also we don't need we can delete it we have the delivery quantities and the delivery percentage also you can delete the previous close so you can keep the so what we have to do is uh, you know this uh, there are many series in the equities like eq b there are different uh, categories here so what we require is only the eq and b so you can Put a filter and delete the remaining except EQ and B. You choose, then you can actually can delete B EQ from this filter. And in one shot, I can delete all this. Right, remove the filter now. 
have the data what I want. I don't need this column anymore. I can delete this column as well. So I will rename this as uh, ticker open I low close this is the volume this one I am doing uh, the delivery volumes I am taking as, as uh, open interest but if you are already downloading the open interest data also then you can put it as ox1 or ox2 there are two more uh, parameters we can download but i will take it as open interest here so now this is the file i can use okay now, instead of doing this every time, we can automate it. So, we can prepare a macro, for example. I have already done a macro here. So, just put in control A. So, in one minute, everything is done, and I have the file here. So, I can also share this macro file with you. So it will be become uh, very easy for you to download the, or and uh, adjust the file as you want. So now we are ready with the file for uploading into Ami Broker. Uh, let us see how to import the data into Ami Broker. Most of you may be familiar with the procedure. We need to first create sort of a template which can be used repeatedly every day to import the data. So first let's go to the file, import wizard. So we'll pick the file which we uh, used, um, downloaded and then modified. So this is the file, sample ball. So I open the file. So the file data is shown here. And we need to map the different fields here. First one is, of course, the ticker. The second one is the open. The third one is here, you can see it is the high, the low, close, volume. Then we have the open interest. Because we call it open interest, you could have called it ox1 or ox2. Then you have the date, so you have to choose the format which is uh, correct. Here we have the date format as day, month, and year. So here I will choose this day, month, year. And you have the log errors, automatically add new symbols, and also you can add, tick this, no quotation data. Sometimes you know, some data is missing, so you will not get an error. So once this is done, then you say next. And we want to use the same procedure every day. So we will create it as a template. So we'll call it as wow copy. Sample. We'll call it VC sample. Okay. Here's the format which every day you can use the same format. So you don't have to go through these procedures every day. So I'll we'll say finish. So this is saved and the next day and the data is imported already. So all you have to do is the next day go to import ASCII. You don't have to go through the import wizard, import ASCII, select the file. 
and this is the same format file you will have different format files here but you will choose the same sample bow or sam bow copy sample file and then you can import the file like this so the procedure is very easy once it is done then you can run the afl here so here and you can plot the volume the delivery volume here so one thing to note is here see i have used this uh, delivery data as open interest so if you have downloaded as it as an ox1 or ox2 we just have to go to the formula and change it here here i will say t is equal to open interest so you will make it a t is equal to ox1 or ox2 as the case may be so this procedure is quite simple i will put the afl and the links for the nsc sites and also the macro file in the description of this video so things will be made easy for you thank you for watching and if you have any doubts and any clarifications required feel free to contact me thank you very much